Zach is back with a Netflix original review. Today I'm reviewing Wrong Missy, which is a Happy Madison production. Which means it's an Adam Sandler movie, even though Adam Sandler isn't in the movie. The, the Happy Madison production can be a good or bad thing, depending on your comedic tastes. But personally for me, I felt like wrong- I can't I keep thinking I'm gonna say Young Missy for some reason, I have no clue why. But personally for me, I think Wrong Missy is kind of a- it feels very much like a cash-grabby sort of Adam Sandler movie. The movie felt very safe and almost too easy to make. I mean, for example, even the comedic setup, like the plot of the movie, is very simple. Basically, David Spade's character ends up inviting the wrong Missy, you see where the movie's title comes from, to a company retreat slash vacation of his. So, th that, that's the basis of the movie. He was supposed to invite a Maryland beauty pageant queen, but he ended up inviting this other Missy that is, uh, let's just say she's not, she kind of looks like Smeagol. <laughs> <laughs> and acts a lot like him too. So there's definitely a difference between the ladies, if you know what I mean. So right off the bat, I'm gonna have to tell you that this is a romantic comedy, it's a rom-com, so there's gonna be very specific story beats that you're used to in rom-coms. And it, it could be a good or bad thing, depending on if you like it or not, but for me particularly, it just felt very predictable. For example, in every romantic comedy or rom-com, they, they always have that specific story beat where the, the couple ends up having a turning point where their arguments get out of hand and they, it, you know, it threatens their relationship and they split up for a little bit and blah 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 blah. Yeah, there's, there's the breakup part where they're broken apart, they're doing their own thing without each other and they eventually kind of figure out, oh, I, you know, I was meant to be with that person, my life was better, and the grass is greener on the other side, and woo, love, and blah, you know what I mean? They always do that in these movies. And, and this shit happens, like, in 99% of rom-coms, it happens in this movie, it's, it, it's just the structure of a romantic comedy, so... I'm not gonna knock at any points for that, um, it's just predictable in my opinion. But the story structure aside, the two things that make- two things- the two things that make a good romantic comedy is A, they need to have good characters, like the good main couple. You have to like both of them, you have to kind of see their side of the story on both ends. And number two, you need good comedy. So those are the only really two main things for me personally that you need to make a good rom-com. But for me, Wrong Missy kind of messes up those two aspects. For example, David Spade's character is actually very likable. I like him as a main character in this movie. The problem is the Missy character. The Missy character should not be a romantic intrigue in this movie whatsoever. She's just not built for that role. That's just not the character that she is. It's almost like they're trying to get one of those background characters, like, you know, like the goofy friends in, let's say, um, for example, like Bridesmaids or something like that. It's like getting one of the goofy characters and then trying to make like a romantic comedy out of that character, you know, the ones that are just so obviously blatantly annoying on purpose, that you, you get them in small doses and they're funny, but having that as the main character to just kind of drive this romantic intrigue along just doesn't really make any sense to me. But I get it, she's supposed to subvert her expectations, she's not supposed to be the average rom-com, likable character, you know, the, the, the girl next door type of character that you just, everyone kind of gets, you know, it's not... She's not supposed to be that character, but I just feel like it doesn't fit as a romantic comedy, just in that aspect. All right, first problem out of the way. Whew, all right, now let's get to the comedy. In this movie, there's definitely some funny lines and moments. For the vast majority of this movie, there's something that I'd like to call low-hanging fruit awkward comedy. Awkward comedy, in my opinion, is probably the lowest hanging fruit in the comedy genre. Because all it really consists of is coming up with uncomfortable situations for the main character to be in. And that's really easy. Anybody can do that off the top of their head. And I get it, some people like this type of comedy, and I've seen movies that can actually handle awkward humor very, very well. But I felt like they just put zero effort into it with Wrong Missy. So it's already an easy type of comedy genre or aspect to comedy, and they just decided not to put any effort into something that was already not very effort intensive. You see what I'm saying? Oh my god, look, your date is so drunk and she's partying so hard and she's throwing up on people and stuff like that. Look how awkward that is. Ho, 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 ho. Oh my god, Missy's talking to your boss about her sexual encounters and your sexual encounters? How awkward can that get? Ha, 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 ha. Oh my god, Missy's jerking you off on the airplane in front of everybody? How embarrassing can this possibly get? See what I'm saying? It just, it gets like, 
to that point where you're just like, I, I can make up shit like that. It's not that hard. And most of the comedy is like that in this movie. And for like the first hour, or not hour, it's more like 30 minutes. For the first 30 minutes, it's actually kind of enjoyable. It's sort of funny. But after it hits the hour mark, and there's still like another 30 minutes of the movie, you're kind of just sitting there like, is there any other comedy to this movie? Is there, Or is, is it all going to be this awkward sense of humor comedy? It's just... It, it just gets boring really quickly. And in the end, the romantic intrigue didn't feel organic. It didn't feel realistic. It felt like a cartoon. And it it was just very sloppily written, in my opinion. I understand that the, the Missy character is supposed to be that way. But it just, it really doesn't make any sense. And it doesn't make you feel like they could actually be compatible with each other. And the comedy got really stale. I mean, that, that's basically it. The comedy, the romantics didn't make any sense. Well, if it was funny, I would be down with it. Wasn't that funny, got stale. There you have it. So what I'm gonna do is give Wrong Missy a C minus. It's just below average. It had some funny moments. I mean, there's some parts that actually made me chuckle. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, some awkward comedy can be funny. It's just that to watch an hour and a half movie, it needs to have more than just those like goofy, nonsensical sense of humor. And it felt like they didn't have anything else to bring. The romance and the storyline wasn't really there. It was pretty predictable. It's just, it was just kind of a, a below average movie in my opinion. Just a little notch below average. So there you have it, you guys. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and do all of that YouTube business. Click the little bell for notifications, because I'm, I'm going to produce more videos soon. That's what I was trying to say. And thank you guys so much for watching. See ya!